This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV and today I'm speaking to Mark Bumiller from Hariba and he's going to tell us about their SZ100 nanoparticle size analyzer. Thank you Cameron. The instrument we have here that we're going to look at today is our newest instrument to measure small particles. Think of this as the technique we're going to use when all of the particles in your sample are below a micron. This is based on dynamic light scattering. We're going to look at the light scattering due to the Brownian motion of the particles. By looking at the Brownian motion, we can then calculate the particle size. It has an effective dynamic range of a little under a nanometer to a little above a micron. So for particle size, this is what we use for what is really the fastest growing area of particle characterization, which is nanoparticles, colloids, proteins, biomolecules. They're all submicron, and a lot of them are down in that nano range of 100 nanometers and less. The measurements are very easy now. Inside the sample chamber, we just have two cells. This is actually the zeta potential cell, not the particle size cell. But for a particle size cell, we would take either a disposable or glass cell, enter the sample into the cell, and then simply place into the instrument chamber and initiate the measurement with the control software. The installation is now very easy. It's just a single cable to the computer. The measurement is easy. It takes just a minute or two for most measurements. The sample preparation could be a little more involved, but we've made the measurement as easy as we possibly can. So for particle size measurements, the sample goes into a cuvette. We place it in the instrument. You have your answers within 60 seconds. Now the same instrument is also capable of making other measurements. It measures particle size, zeta potential, which is a measure of the charge on the surface of the particles, and for small molecules also the molecular weight and the second virial coefficient. So for measuring zeta potential, that is the cell I'd shown you earlier. This is a disposable cell. We inject the sample into the cell, and between these two electrodes we're going to create an electric field, measure the mobility of the particles, and from the mobility calculate the zeta potential. So it's simply place the zeta potential cell in the instrument, it'll create that electric field, and in a minute you will then have your results of the zeta potential, the charge on the surface. For molecular weight, it's a little more involved with the sample preparation, but the basic functioning of the instrument is the same. We would take sample at four different concentrations, tell the instrument this is the concentration, this is our sample, and after doing four or five different concentrations, the same instrument will also give us the molecular weight of small molecule samples such as proteins, maybe dendromers, maybe smaller polymers. So for nanoparticle measurements, this is now the most flexible tool you can find for particle size, zeta potential, molecular weight, and second viral coefficient. All right, Mark, and how much, how much training is involved uh, before someone can get up and running with an instrument like this? Well, certainly when we install the system, the installation is over in a half hour. We then work with customers to go through using standards, and after we go through the standards, we'll work with customer samples. A lot of that is hopefully done beforehand through the use of the applications lab, but between the applications lab and our people in the field, there's a s continuous interaction with customers, and we also have web-based training to help people get through the basics as well of sample preparation, data interpretation, etc. So it's a combination of what happens during the installation and then our support network for post-installation. Right, Mark, and if anybody wants uh, any more information on the SC100 nanoparticle size analyzer or, or any of the rest of your range of particle size analyzers, they can presumably go to your website? Sure, on hariba.com you'll find this. If you happen to live in Europe, I'll be your main contact. Uh, we're in, your, in America today. We have an extensive group around the world who is very familiar with the technology and the applications. Would be very glad to work with you and make sure this is the right instrument for you and also to make sure you get very good data out of it. All right, Mark, thanks for your time and tell us about the SC100. My pleasure. Thank you very much.